Hey everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to create two patterns. This first one I'm calling a square grid and this second one I'm calling a staggered grid. Now both of these grids are actually created from a single shape which has then had two instances of the transform effect applied to it. We are seeing the appearance panel just here. Window appearance is where you can find that. Uh, just a bit of a heads up here guys. A lot of the time when you're adding effects, you can do so via the properties panel. But the problem with the properties panel, at least as of right now within Illustrator, the problem is that you can only show just down here one effect. So you can see just here, if I hover over this info button just here, it's saying that there's actually multiple effects applied to this shape. Open the appearance panel to see all of those details. So it makes it just easier if we just work from the appearance panel. Okay, so let's build these things from scratch. So I'm going to select both of those transform effects and just throw them away. Let's start from scratch. So I've drawn a little star. I have it selected. Let's go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. Okay, now you can see I'm applying two transforms. The first one is a transform in the horizontal direction. So come down to the Move section, Horizontal, Drag the slider to the right, and it maxes out at 100 pixels. Don't worry guys, you can actually type in any number you like just in here. Or in this case, I'm going to click inside of the field and then use the up and down arrow keys. And if I throw in the shift key, I can move 10 pixels at a time. So of course I played a ahead of time here guys, and I've uh, got some good numbers just down here. You can of course use any numbers you like. So we've moved it horizontally 160 pixels. If I come down to this copies field just now, I'm going to click in here and use my up arrow. So you can see that's uh, a copy or a number of two copies just there, three copies, you get the idea. Let's in this case increase it to 10 copies. And at this point, guys, we have done as much as we can with this one transform effect. To complete the grid, we're going to need to add that second transform effect. So I'm choosing OK. Coming back to effect. Distort and transform, transform. Now, this might initially suggest that we've got a bit of a problem going on just here. This is just Illustrator saying, hey, are you sure you want to add a second transform effect? No problems, we absolutely do. Apply new effect. Okay, now in this case, transform number two just here, we want to make a move and a copy in the vertical direction. So let's come down to move vertical, and I can of course drag this slider around, and in this case, I want 150 pixels. So I'm just going to type that in and then come straight down to copies and pressing my up arrow. I can dial in whatever I like, five copies, and this is looking great. So we've totally created the grid just here, guys. But it's important to realize in reality, we actually still only have one shape. I can't, for example, select these other guys. They don't exist. They are just mirrored copies of this one guy just up here. So if, for example, we wanted to start pulling this thing apart, making things different colors, deleting individual stars, we need to expand all of this. And that's what these little notes are just down here. So it's a two-step process, guys. I've selected the uh, starting point shape just here. We need to go up to Object, Expand Appearance. Now, what that's done is it's expanded it and given us just a series of now groups. I know we have a group, at least one group in play just here. I can see this little word group just up here. So if I right mouse click on this and now choose ungroup, you can see, yes, it ungrouped the entirety of the grid, but we now have groups of stars as rows. So all I have to do guys is just select all of those again, right mouse click and choose ungroup again. And now I have individual access to those stars. Very cool. Let's go and have a look at our staggered grid just here. So I'm going to select that starting point and then just delete those two transform effects just there like so. So in this case, guys, I'm going to be running through these options just here for the staggered grid. So we selected our star, effect, distort and transform, transform. So let's start out by moving this thing horizontally. So let's uh, dial in that 130 that I have just there. And notice I also have a vertical movement of 70 in this case. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a series of staggered stars. So I'm moving in both the horizontal and the vertical direction. 
And here's a very cool trick, this reflect X just down here. Now this doesn't really show up just yet. I'm gonna jump straight down to copies. Let's get a few copies in here. And now I'll turn on reflect X and check this out. So if I start pressing the up arrow again, you can see what reflect X is doing is it's bouncing the star back and forth down the page, which is fantastic for creating this staggered look just here. Okay, so in this case, I want 12 copies. Again, I have done as much as I can with this one transform effect. Let's choose OK, effect, distort and transform, transform. Let's add that second effect. And in this case, we're just gonna be moving it horizontally. Now, guys, of course, I've just been using the numbers just here, but of course, in the real world, typically what you do is you maybe come straight down to this copies thing, maybe dial in one or two copies, and then start dragging this thing out. I've maxed out, it still doesn't look great. So in this case, I'm going to click inside the field, holding down my shift key and using my up and down arrow keys. So in this case, I'm aiming for 260, and there we go. And we just need to push the number of copies now up to six to complete the effect. And there we go, fantastic. Now, one thing I didn't demonstrate explicitly last time, guys, is these things are still live effects, so we can, of course, change them at any point, as long as, of course, we haven't already expanded them. So our object is uh, selected just up here. So let's say, for example, I wanted to make these more tightly packed. Well, just to examine which one's doing what, you can actually turn off the eyeball next to individual transform effects. And you can also click on the transform effect just here to go inside and edit it. So again, I'm thinking I'd like to tighten up the spacing just in here. So I'm going to look at this move horizontal option just here. So maybe I'll bring that down a little bit and I'll jump back into the other transform effect and look at its horizontal movement just here. Maybe tighten that up a little bit. Very nice. So of course, guys, you can tweak this to your heart's content. Just jump into those individual transform effects and make adjustments where needed. So that's pretty much it there, guys. I might leave it at that point and uh, let you have some fun designing some different grids here inside of Illustrator. I hope that helps. Catch you later.